Thanks, Rex. Konnichiwa, everyone. And this is Sean with Izanoken Gaming, and this is episode number five of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links playthrough. So, without further ado, let's jump right in. Also, if you don't mind, uh, like and subscribe for all the latest and most epic Yu-Gi-Oh! and Duel Links related material, and also please comment to see what you would like to see next. So, just let me know what you want to see in the comments below, and I really hope you enjoy the video. And of course, it has all your updates about the Forbidden and Limited list, the skill rebalancing, the limited time sale for Vagrants for your campaign. And the new event, Tabletop RPG Monster World, is finally released until the 23rd of May. Also, until the 23rd, which is, I believe, next Thursday, you get to use your card lottery coins in the Tag Duel Tournament still. The tournament itself, like the duels for that tournament, are already closed, so your chance to get Loomis and Umbra have already been... Basically, the chances to get Loomis and Umbra have been over with since the 15th, but you can still use your coins to get the rewards and the lottery until the 23rd. And the Road to Worlds campaign is still here until the 30th of June, so if you haven't gotten your tickets, your super rare, your ultra rare tickets for logging in, then I suggest you do that. I strongly suggest you do that. Especially for the second day, that ultra rare dream ticket. Yeah. Now, from what I understand, let's jump right into the Monster World Tournament. One second. Let me just claim this. Alright, let's jump right into this. And Bakura will tell you how to do it. Are you ready? I use Area 1 to explain. And it basically tells you everything you need to know about it. You click the panel if you have it on mobile. Or on the phone, if you're playing from an emulator on the phone. Well, you play an emulator from your phone on the computer. So, like mobile games, you can play via an emulator on your computer. But, if you see the magical field in the space ahead, it means the monster looks inside. Since there's no other path, you have no choice. Step into the magical field and battle. And this is how the battles work. You enter a dice battle. It uses two stamina, and the screen collapses, and it basically takes you to a randomized monster. This case is Bela's Soldier. We're battling monsters using Bakura's rules. A dice battle. Deal damage to the monster's health equal to the number you roll. Now roll your dice. See, watch. You do damage to your opponent equal to the number you roll. For in this case, I rolled a 7, so I do 7 damage. Now, after that turn is concluded, it's the monster's turn to attack. He did. He drew a 2, or he rolled a 2, so I take 2 damage. And of course, if your health reaches 0, you lose. So you roll another. It's a 5. And the monster has no health, you win. It reminds me of a Pokemon game a little bit. Like, instead of like using different types of Pokemon to do your damage, you use a die to do your damage. So, that's kind of cool. It also raises your stamina and your max health. And of course, it takes you right here. And anytime you see a monster like this, a variety of decks is your chance to play with cards you haven't played with before. I bet I'll let you have the deck first, use it to deal with the boss. You can get a level 10 spellcaster deck for your first one. The boss battles require three stamina at first, and the boss you have to actually duel. So we will do that. 
it tells you what the ritual summon is right here. Oh my god. Sorry about that. It says there may be more of him, but that's okay. He's quite welcome on this channel. The boss monster is Headless Knight. Okay, now it basically gives you all the monsters here that you can use. And basically this is just a spellcaster deck that was just made. It was just made at random by Bakura. Of course, this is also a great strategy to see what cards lie in these particular deck setups. It's an excellent way to figure out what cards lay in these deck setups, and basically, you're able to um, take the recipes from these decks and try to replicate them. If you really feel as though they will work for you, if you really agree about how these decks are set up, if you really like how it's set up, and if you have a lot of fun with it, you can basically take the recipe from these decks and try to incorporate them in... Sorry, Kaiba. I'm going to have to make you quiet for a second. There we go. Thank you, Kaiba. Now, you see how that the boss mo the boss monster works. So basically, at any time you want to take a look at these decks or the deck list in which Bakura gives you for this tournament or event, you can, and you can take a look at these particular deck lists. Real adventure now begins in a second. First, explore the area, obtain an event deck through dice battles, use your event deck to duel against monsters, and complete the area to obtain a reward. Basically, a summary of what you can expect. It gives you one potion as a, basically a daily bonus. Now, when I was talking to you about the event decks, you can easily, when you start getting more and more deck setups and more recipes from here, you can easily switch between which ones you like and which ones you don't like, or which ones you feel most comfortable with, to have the best outcome for your battles in this particular event. Now, if you click on it, it allows you to see every card here that you have. It allows you to see every single card in this setup. Of course, it's a standard deck of around 20 cards. And it allows you to have basically a great idea of what you can be using. Also, if you feel as though you're very comfortable with this deck and you want to make sure you want to take it and use this particular recipe outside of this tournament, you can easily copy this setup right here or make a screenshot of it and basically have it with you as you get the cards you need to formulate that recipe over in your actual non-event related dueling. So if you ever wanted to have like a little note, that'll be important. See? And you level up. You level up by moving. You level up by dueling. And you level up by participating in these dice battles. And this one is against Snowman Eater. He only has three health. You roll a die. You roll an eight. And just like that, you get to return to your adventure. And remember, see? You can close it, and then whenever you want to set it, 
you can easily just go here and then click set deck so that this is active. Being that I'm using Kaiba, I'll have to set this dragon set the dragon setup. And one more thing, these treasure chests. Once you go buy them and actually click on the panel where they are, you actually get special rewards like extra die, you get Senri eyes, you get stamina potions and stuff like that. So it's very important to go ahead and pick those up. Now I will duel this one last boss and then I'll call it a video. This is just a little quick update to show you. <laughs> the boss monster is Moki Moki. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Duel Links has some of the craziest paradigms imaginable, I'll tell you that. But, like I was saying, you can go ahead and basically copy the decks if you really feel comfortable using them. You can go ahead and pick up the treasure chests and get every, you know, be sure to get every single one if you can, because you get items that are very, very helpful. And whenever you want to switch out your cards for the deck recipes, or, like, for example, if you want to switch one deck that Bakura gives you for another deck that he gives you, you can go ahead and follow that method as I showed earlier. So, that's about it. Your opponent will go. Ascending Soul. Ascending Soul. Now. I love this card. I love this card. I didn't even really need to summon Komori Dragon, but I just did anyway. And of course you get the normal amount of experience and stuff like that. So if you really have the means to participate in this event, I strongly suggest you do so. See, after you clean it out, you clean the entire board, you get lottery coins. And you get even more lottery coins for cleaning out the event. And for your lottery, you get 10 free times a day. So be sure to check that out. I think I got a, yeah. I think I got something cool. Okay. And just real quick, um, let's take a look at the lottery rewards. You can get a lot of other cards. Ghost Ship, Umbla Mirage, Dark Master Zorak, of course, Yaksha, Jin Demolisher of Rituals, Skilled White Magician, good for Buster Bladers, Earthbound Spirit, Scrap Kong, Battle Guard Rage, Skulldark Marin, Royal Keeper, Fusionist, Rare Fish, Regenerating Mummy, Super Robo, Super Robo Lady, sorry, Super Robo Lady, Super Robo Yarul, Dark King of the Abyss, Ghoul with an Appetite, Contract with Dark Master, Mystical Sheep number two, Petite Angel, Robo Lady, and Robo Yaro. And you get jewels of all types, gems of all types of quantities, experience EX jewels for the Monster World times 20, 10, 5, and 1, and different amounts of gold and keys. So, with that being said, that is the tournament in a nutshell the Monster World Tournament RPG whatever you'd like to call it. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I really hope you guys subscribe, and let me know what you'd like to see next. Well, I suppose that concludes this video, folks. Until next time.